Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little little tutorial, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yesterday I watched Shannon Green's tutorial on, um, she was coloring some vintage colored ephemera. She was colorizing it and she was using Posca pens. Um, I don't have any Posca pens. But I love the idea, so I thought I'd play around a little bit today with some stuff that I do have and just see what I like and if it works the same and that kind of thing. So, as always, thank you to Shannon for her inspiration. I swear to goodness I can't watch one of her videos without having to try something. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so I've got some Seven Gypsies ephemera and some Tim Holtz ephemera that I'm just going to play with and kind of see what happens. Um, like I say, she used Posca pens. I got out my watercolors and I also got out gelatos. So, I'm going to see see what what we can come up with. I think it'll be kind of fun to just to just play a little bit um and see what happens. The Tim Holtz is a more of a slick surface than I think the I think the Seven Gypsies is more porous. So anyway, we'll we'll see what happens. So I'm going to start out with the gelatos and um I have I have lots. I have lots of different colors and um, and lots of different colors. And then I have some metallics and stuff. So I might play with those a little bit too. But um, they were my first thought. I think the watercolors, I don't know if I'm going to like that as well. So what I wanted to do was two different things. I wanted to see, because if you add water to um, to a gelato... It kind of makes it into a little paint but then I also wondered if I if I went actually right on the card what would happen so I've got a variety of paint brushes here I don't know which ones I want and then some water to, to clean off in and um, I meant to grab my paint towel but it's right here I think so I can just grab it so that'll help clean off the brushes a little bit as well okay so let's see what happens. I love this. This is another this is another left-handed thing I can, can do. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl. So first of all, let's try let's try maybe wetting the paper a little bit. This is uh, one of the brushes that comes with the gelatos, so I thought maybe that would make them happy if if they were so yeah and i hope i'm i hope i'm well in frame i'll double check i don't want to see the the line where i but it's it's blending in pretty well yeah and um, this was a little hint that, that Shannon gave too, that if, um, you don't want to go over it too, too much or the paper starts to kind of pill because, you know, it's not mixed media paper or watercolor paper. It's just paper, paper. So I kind of like that. Let's see on this other one, if we just put a little, little gelato on the craft mat here and just mix it prior to yeah I think I like that better I think I like that like that better okay while we're at it might as well pull out a Tim Holtz and see what the what this coating will do I don't know I don't know what it, if it's just gonna kind of puddle or what Get a little more. Yeah, 
it is kind of pooling, but it's kind of given a cool effect because of that. Let's see if I can get this up to the camera so you can see. Can you see how that's kind of just puddling? I like it though. I mean, it's kind of, kind of got its own. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. Okay, so... I think maybe I'll use up this pink on another one of the tags. Maybe I'll use this. This came from Seven Gypsies to this little doily, but that way the paint's used up. Okay, so then let's try a little teal because, you know, those are my colors. And I haven't dried it in between or anything. Okay, a little of that, which... This is a metallic mint, so this is metallic, so we'll see what effect that has. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I actually can do this kind of with my right hand, too, so. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's really kind of fun. Get it up here so you can see it. And that was just pretty much a plain white piece of ephemera. I mean, I really like that just as is. Maybe we'll add something to it, but don't know that we don't know that we need to. This one needs something because I feel like it's too big, too much of a line from drawing it on. So it doesn't draw on well. So that's that's something learned. Um, let's get a little more water. And mix that up. Kind of smash the pieces down a little bit. My gelatos are old, so they're kind of crumbly. No, this is turning out really pretty. I really like it. I'll tell you what, Shannon Green has the best ideas. If you are not subscribed to her, you should be. Because <laughs> she's just, I mean, she is, I always get good ideas from her. Even though, you know, I didn't have the exact, I didn't have the exact, um, what would you say, tool I don't have any Posca pens, but still, this is a fun, fun little technique. So, let's see, what color could I put? Maybe some purple or something? I don't know. Maybe yellow. This is really close to pink. Let's try Let's try yellow just for the heck of it. You know, and really these were these were pieces of ephemera that I mean they're fine, but I didn't love them. I mean they're just they're just very plain. So let's kind of go down the middle of this one and see if we can't soften that line some. Yeah, that helped a lot. That helped a lot like it. Maybe we'll kind of go around the edge of this one a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll do a little in the middle too. Yes! I love those! Boy, those are fun. Let me get them up to the camera again. Isn't that pretty? Okay. 
Okay, I'm calling that one done. We're going to set it up here to dry. And I really like this one too. Although, I still might do something around the edges. I have an idea. And then this one, again, it's kind of it kind of sits on top, but that metallic is pretty, isn't it? Okay. So, my idea Well, let's let's get a little of the yellow up and we'll put it on the doily here and there. Okay. So, my idea for this guy is maybe to do like some brown around the edge or something. So let's see what that looks like. Maybe I should give this a little wipe. Okay, let's see. What do I have? Um, here's a brown right on top. This one is iced chai. Okay. what happens with this. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what angle to go to, but just almost like distressing it was my thought. Kind of going in a straight line on that one. Okay, I like that, adding that brown back into that. Okay, let's do the do the edges of the doily. Okay. Okay, that I like that better. I think that's a little bit better. And here's the doily. So that's picking up the color nicely too. Okay. So, whoops, that one fell down in my little canister thing. Okay, so what do we think about this one? I don't know. I kind of feel like this one's done. I mean, I might go back with some distress ink and go around the edges, you know, just with the ink pad, but I like that. Okay. Okay. So, so definitely, definitely a win with the, um, gelatos. There'll be more play to do with that. So let's see what watercolors do. Let's see. I have a Tim Holtz here. Maybe we'll do, just do this little seven gypsies. So, okay. So maybe just a, just a light wash of pink. And that's going to absorb into the paper quite a bit on this, um, seven gypsies. Let's see, Let's see what we get on Tim Holtz. Looks like again it's gonna do its little puddling thing. But I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm doing kind of the same colors just to so we can do a little comparison of you know, and it might be a case of we don't like one better than the other. Maybe we just like them both. And that's okay too. Okay, so let's do a little teal. Woo! That's bright. Okay, let's add a little water to that, see if we can tone that down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's just, I'm going to slide this just through the paint and use it as sort of a wipe up. 
Um, okay, so we're going to do some teal on this guy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I might maybe a, maybe a different brush. Maybe that's what I need with the watercolor. Okay. I'm gonna try. How about we try this guy? This is another Seven Gypsies, but I'm just gonna try it with a different paintbrush and see if I like that better. I mean, the gelato one was good for the gelatos, but. I don't want it for the watercolor. Okay, that's pretty. Wipe up tag. That's pretty. Okay, let's go back with the pink with this brush and see. Yeah. Yeah, I need to use I need to use a different brush, not the gelatos with the watercolors. So that's that's good to know. Okay, let's then go in with a little of the yellow and see what it does. That feels pretty dry. Looks like the Tim Holtz one's fairly dry too. So I'm just gonna kind of go down the middle with a wash and of course it turns green on the blue side and a little bit orange on the pink side but I like it I like that a lot okay so we'll try a little got a little one of the tag holes there okay I'm just gonna kind of go down the areas where the pink and the teal meet. You guys, I like that too. Okay, I don't think it's going to be a case of I like the gelatos better than the watercolors. I think it's going to be a case of like them both. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those, I mean, those are great. Okay. So let's take, we'll just kind of compare them. You can tell me what you think, but, but I'm kind of a fan of both. So this is the watercolor. This is the gelatos. So very similar, very similar. Gosh, I like them both. I am excited about this technique. This is fun. Okay, let's try. I got to show you up close the Tim Holtz, though, too. Didn't that turn out kind of cool? Still wet, but yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to have, and then this one close up, too. Cool, huh? Okay, I, well, I'm going to have these drying all over the place. So my, my the next thing I kind of want to try is I'd like to try like some darker colors, like uh, as in wouldn't these be fun for a bohemian journal kind of colors. So let's try that. Let's just do this Tim Holtz one. And I'm going to do the watercolors first. Cause I just have some colors that are speaking to me. Look at how that puddles. You can really tell with a darker color. Ooh, but I like it. Cool, cool, cool. Like that. 
um, excuse me, I might use my dryer just to speed up the drying time a little bit. Because I think I want this to be dry in between colors so I don't make too much mud. Ooh, this is pretty. <laughs> I really like this one. That's cool. That looks that looks really fun. Look at isn't that pretty? Okay, so let's see what happens if we get crazy and put another color with it. Um, let's do this. I have this kind of jewel toned blue. Let's try it. We'll just kind of do it. Maybe we won't kind of try and mix them. Maybe we'll just go up to the edge sort of and um yeah I'll kind of see how that does okay let's dry that and then um Hmm. Then I'm kind of trying to decide between a green or a pink. I don't know. Maybe we do a little of both. Okay. Okay. And let's do... I have a real rich green here too. Let's see what this looks like on it. Maybe we'll just kind of go in here with it. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Just not trying not to go totally over the other colors so that we don't we don't make mud, but I like that. I think I want to leave that with those kind of dark spots there. <clears throat> I still think I have some room for some pink. Oh yeah, that's fun. Okay, so let's do, let's see, I have some shocking pink here, kind of neon-y pink. And I was noticing like down here and around this edge, actually kind of almost down into here, right? Along this edge, along this edge, okay, okay, I'm going to leave that because I think I might try and go in on the edges with yellow. Let's get that dried up a little bit. That's good enough. And then I have some super bright yellow here that I'm just going to kind of where the white is showing in between where the colors stop. Just kind of uh, smoosh some yellow. I think, of course, it reactivates wherever you touch, kind of. 
because it's watercolor and you get it wet and it does that so that's okay Ooh, I like that I like that okay let's just use this yellow on this tag Okay. Okay. So let me hit that just for a quick second on that yellow. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Isn't that fun? Well, I definitely jazzed up that plain um, cream colored little whatever calendar page. Love it. Love it. Oh my gosh, this is way too much fun. I'm not going to have a single piece of neutral, <laughs> neutral left. Um, let's see. The other thing I wanted to try kind of, and I have some right here, is um, I wanted to try some like digital prints, you know, that we all, that we all kind of have. Oh, this one would be a good one. Um, these are some postcards. I think these are from my friend Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures, her digital kits. But I wanted to see just on the card stock and stuff what, I don't know, what might happen. So maybe, I don't know if we want to watercolor it or if we want to do the gelatos. I think I'm going to watercolor it. That just works so well. Um, I don't know. I almost want to kind of just paint this. <laughs> I don't think my left hand will do it, but I just kind of want to play with this a little bit. Just because what this reminds me of is, you know, back in the 40s, 50s when they colorized photos. You know how they did that? They put like pink cheeks on ladies and stuff. That's what this kind of reminds me of. So, to play with that a little bit is kind of fun. Mm, maybe we will do just some pale pink. This is the palest that I have. Yeah. This is kind of cool. I like this too. A little line here that's just kind of so it just gives it ever such a subtle hint of color with the watercolors. I really like that effect. I don't want to put it there. Maybe I've got kind of a goldy orangish sort of thing here. Maybe that would be nice there. We need a little more of that to balance out a little bit. I don't know, you guys. I think that's all I'll do on that. But that works kind of fun, too. So I have another one. We'll try some gelatos on another one. But there's that one. See, it just gives it a little bit of color. I mean, the yellow's fairly bright, but this pink is totally subtle. And then the, and then the gold. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, you have this stuff, stuff in your stash forever, and you just sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I don't think about using it. 
I've been I have these right at hand because I've been gonna sew the you know I printed out the backs too and I was gonna sew those to the fronts but I just haven't and so here they are sitting so okay I have got down here is this a metallic silver ice it's called I wonder if it is metallic I also have I have more in this here's a silver metallic for sure let's try that okay and I'm gonna use the gelato brush because that worked well oh my poor gelatos they're really kind of getting sad I think I need to clean up a little bit on my on my mat here I'm gonna get all sorts of colors going Okay, so, okay, so we'll try this silver metallic and see what happens. Um, and I want to use it kind of on the, maybe I want to use it on the building. I don't know. I don't know. I had, the, my thought was to put it on the, on the street here. Okay, so this is just kind of sitting on top, but it's just giving it a sheen, which is kind of attractive, like that. Use the right hand, because this is a little more intricate over here. Okay, maybe just a skosh more of that. That's pretty. That's kind of fun. Okay. Um, we'll just we'll just put that silver over the yellow and make the yellow shimmery. Okay. Okay. Then I had. iced coffee so that's more of a brown I think I might go for kind of a gold on the building and see what happens you know the good thing is with these if if I don't like it and it's just awful I could always just reprint it but but I think these are turning out kind of fun I'm just kind of washing over the top. Ooh, yeah. I, I really don't know if this is showing up on camera at all. I'll pull it up to the camera closer in and see if you guys can see but it's just giving it such a subtle subtle color and then um, and then some sparkle because this is metallic oh that's that's cool I really like that okay so with this extra I'm just gonna once again paint this little wipe off card kind of okay so I think with this one then I want to see if I have a metallic like a light blue for the sky let's see that's gray you know she's got to have a light blue right there's a teal and that one feels like it's in the wrong one. Um, purple. There it is. I knew it had to be in there somewhere, right? Okay, so let's 
do the blue sky then. I think this is going to be cool. Okay, I'm going to say that both the gelatos and the watercolors are a win on this little technique. They hone it just kind of around the building, sketchily. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Gives it a really kind of a cool look. Okay, I need a little more. Okay, let's go down and around the street light. Down here. And I'm just going to kind of and they go across this top again because it just kind of oh my gosh that is really cool you guys okay let's use this up on this tag this little tag kind of turned out cute too okay so look at this up close Look at the shine in it. Cool, right? Okay. Well, I may not be done playing, but I think I've tried what I wanted to try. And I'm loving it all. So there you go, guys. There's, there's some different ways to go ahead and colorize your really neutral um, ephemera. So I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun playing and I think I may continue to play for a little bit. So thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.